What's up, YouTube? It's Jackal Gold Kick. So, like I said, these this video and some others you see, you'll see will be long in the future. Uh, when I do, when I come back to YouTube, but I want to make content at this period of my life because I feel like there's certain things you can't do once you make it past certain ways in your life. Like I said with Eminem, some of that music he made in 2006 and 2007, you can't make that kind of music nowadays. So this is kind of a way of me to do things that one day I might not be able to make a certain kind of content, whatever, we'll see. But what I want to vent about, and what I basically want to talk about is uh, what's been going on with me and everything in general. So. Spending my time off my porn addiction, I've been clean since October 20th. It's been somewhere in October. Basically what happened is I had a spiritual awakening in October and that's what it felt like. And I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this porn addiction lifestyle. I was sick of it. I was sick and tired of it. And I wanted out of it. So I came up with these techniques and strategies to end my addiction because I tried many times before to end my addiction, but I just couldn't. You know, they kept using willpower and that's not enough. So what I did was I had to basically figure out what my triggers are, what did it, what it was that led me to watch porn. And then I responded to those triggers with some kind of idea. So what I pretty much did is I basically, okay, one of my main triggers for my addiction, being alone for prolonged periods of time, that's a trigger to watch porn. If there's internet while being alone, that's a trigger to watch porn. Um, not, you know, if I'm, you know, if I'm not around people and I'm alone, it's a trigger to watch porn, as well as maybe some other things. But those were the main triggers. And my response to that was, all right, if I'm not able to be around people, then I will go outside. Uh, basically, every time the triggers show up, or to avoid myself relapsing or watching porn, and that's what I did. Did for that for some stuff in October, some of the days in November, I would just constantly have to go outside, either walking or taking my phone with me to be entertained by it. And that's what I had to do to keep myself off of the addiction, and it worked. And it's, it's like November 11th or 12th, I, can't, I don't know. But um, I just know by the time you see this video and other videos, it'll be like way in the future. Whenever I come back to YouTube and life's good or, you know, whatever the future holds, basically. Um, but essentially what I want to talk about is, you know, being off this porn addiction, I've come to realize why exactly it is I'm addicted to porn and why, you know, to, to basically vent about something I realized, you know, I may see like a cool YouTuber and my videos may seem great. I may see like I'm a dope channel and all your videos are good and stuff, which I appreciate that. But, you know, in reality guy behind the camera the guy behind jackal gold kick my life itself you know and not much of a life to be honest um and i'm gonna explain that revelation i came to which is what i think kind of was a connection to the porn addiction and this is a lot of what is a lot of my problems are i see a doggy on the sidewalk looks like a cute doggy but he's a lone one so hopefully he isn't coming after me but i do like dogs i do like dogs just not the mean ones but anyways what i was Sorry about that, there was a dog walking by and then there was someone going after the dog. Um, probably just somebody, you know, walking their dog. So that's probably what was going on. But anyways, back to topic. So what I come to realize is this. You know, for those that don't know, I dropped out of school. And before I dropped out of school, life still sucked. I had a shitty father. Uh, there was things I bottled up. You know, I, I still had issues. But I would say my life wasn't as bad as it is now um and basically what happened is it's like ever since i dropped out of school which is around the age of 13 or 14 i can't quite remember that's when everything changed for the worst I moved into this trailer and how i got it addicted to pornography basically was i was at this trailer and there was a porn magazine i looked at that and that was the start of it I looked at that you know got engaged with that and then after that i got exposed to the internet and like it's, it, it was like ever since i dropped out of school that's when everything changed i essentially i started to live a more complacent lifestyle 
since I was 13 or 14. I lived a more complacent lifestyle. Um, and essentially, um, at that time, you know, I was, I was still playing video games because video games were there before. But at that time period, I started to live this complacent lifestyle. And, and in addition to that, I had my first exposure to the internet. I had my first exposure to pornography. I had my first exposure to social media, to YouTube, social media, all these things. And for a kid of me at that age, that was so much dopamine. That was so much excitement. And it's like, I liked the taste of all of those things. And I feel like I got hooked into that. And I got hooked into a pretty shitty lifestyle and a complacent lifestyle. And what's even sadder is I've been in this lifestyle for probably nine or maybe 10 years. My whole YouTube run from 2013 to 2022, whenever I decided to take my break and whenever you're gonna see this, that's the lifestyle I've been living. And essentially I got trapped in this lifestyle after I dropped out of school where basically it was just, I was in the house every single day watching porn, being on the internet, making YouTube videos when I did eventually become a YouTuber, listening to music, playing video games, watching movies, creepypastas, just living in this complacent lifestyle combined with pornography, combined with the internet, combined with all this stuff. It was very engaging. And I got trapped and stuck in this lifestyle. And I was trapped in there for probably nine to 10 years. And that's been my lifestyle. My whole YouTube run is was that lifestyle. 2013 Jekyll Gold Kick to 2022, I'm leaving YouTube for now, Jekyll Gold Kick. That entire time period was my life. You know, I did get out sometimes. And I did have some friends I hung out with sometimes, but for the most part, life sucked, you know? And that was one of, that was pretty much like what, what, what the root cause of my porn addiction was. That was the cause of why I was a porn addict because I got stuck in this complacent lifestyle where I was just hooked on the social media and internet. And, you know, I didn't really go out much. You know, I was hooked on the internet and social media and pornography and all this online stuff combined with a complacent lifestyle where I'm in the house every single day and doing that for a long time fucked me up and I think it's the cause of a lot of my problems and it's also because I had a shitty father who wasn't there for me who wasn't a good father so real talk with Rocket Dog if you're out there fuck you you know I see that cocksucker still running this fucking mouth in comment sections you can't say all this bullshit about me when it was your job to raise me. So all that bullshit you want to say on Larry the Cool Gamer's video, that's your own fault. Oh, Jackal doesn't have a job. He doesn't have a girlfriend. You're talking about yourself. You know, you realize that, right? Because I am your son, sadly. You're talking about yourself because it was your job to get me out of the situation. How, do we, how about we talk about the fact that there was an entire fucking year, 2017, right? Where... My mom and my brother went somewhere and I stayed at the trailer with my dad. And there were so many days and times where he left the trailer, you know, and I was there all alone. And he never once said, hey, let's go out and do something. Let's have you get some friends or get some girlfriends or just get out and do something. You know, what dads are supposed to do. I was at the trailer all the time and he would always leave. He never offered me to go out. There's maybe one time I went with him to what, play basketball. And because I'm not used to going outside and I got stuck in a complacent lifestyle, you know, I had anxiety and I did have issues. And he gave me shit for it. It bullied, bullied me for it, you know? Like, why are you why are you so weird coming outside and stuff? Just not understanding me, you know? Just being a shitty fucking father. So it's like complacent lifestyle, porn, internet, all that bullshit. Plus having a shitty father that didn't know how to raise me, being stuck in a complacent lifestyle for years, it sucked. This is the side of Jackal Gold Kick that people didn't really see too often, and I'm giving it to you now. And, you know, a few days ago, I can't remember when it was, being off my porn addiction, that's that's what I realized. And I was crying and laughing the whole day. Because it was just, it was painful to finally realize, like, wow, this is what the, the root cause of the porn addiction came from. It came from living this complacent lifestyle for years, in the house, every single day. My whole life was just video games, movies, porn, internet, social media, talking to people online. A job, didn't have it. Exercise, didn't do it. Friends, didn't have it. Girlfriends relationships, never existed. And that was the entire lifestyle for years. 
And I'm like, shit, man, no wonder why I'm a porn addict. No wonder why it was hard to quit porn. Because of the lifestyle I'm living, you know? And I'm still kind of in that lifestyle. But I'm just, now I'm knowing, okay, where to go from here. How to address things, you know? Responding to my triggers and, you know, finding ways to stay away from the porn addiction. And, uh... It just sucks, man, because I wasted so much time, I wasted so many years living this complacent lifestyle of just internet and porn and video games and all this shit, you know? And all that time wasted could have been spent balanced, could have tried having friends, could have probably had a girlfriend by now, could have been in more shape. But you know, it's not just that, I blame a lot of that on my father, you know? Because having good parents, having good parenting is important, you know? I had a great mom. I love my mom to death. She's a great mom, you know? She was like the mom and the dad. My dad, on the other hand, was a piece of shit, and I still don't fucking like him. He's the reason for a lot of my fucking issues. You know, if my dad was a better dad, and he actually did what a dad's supposed to do, you know, and he, and, and he was there when it mattered, then, then I wouldn't be such a fuck-up, you know? I wouldn't be addicted to porn. I wouldn't have lived a complacent lifestyle. Because let me tell you something right now. If I ever have my own kids one day, and they're starting to be in my position where I'm noticing they're complacent, and they're addicted to porn, or they're, they're living a lifestyle that's just not good for them, I'm going to do whatever I can to support them. I'm going to try, you know, when it matters, hey, let's get out, you know, let's get you around friends, let's get you in the world, you know, um, be an actual parent, you know. That's why I relate to people like Eminem so much. Because Eminem hated his dad, and I fucking hate my dad too. Anyone ever heard Fatherless Son by Rush the Russian Rapper? Because I relate to that song like a motherfucker. But yeah, I just like I had this revelation. And I had this realization, like, damn, that's why I became addicted to porn, or parts of it. You know, that dropping out of school. And the reason I dropped out of school was because of more fights. I was bullied a lot in school, and I only stood up for myself twice. And the second time I stood up for myself in school, I, uh, you know, the, the one guy I beat up was wanting other people to beat me up. I'm like, you know what? This is just going to lead to more and more fights. So I just dropped out of school, you know? And maybe if I didn't drop out of school, maybe things would have turned out differently or maybe it would have been worse because then I maybe still would have been a porn addict because of bullying and stuff. I don't know. But this is just me expressing how I feel, what's going on with me, and what's happening with life in general. You know, and uh, it just sucks. You know, it sucks that I didn't have a good father there to mentor me through it. You know, my dad was a piece of shit. And he's the cause of a lot of my problems. He's the cause of me having a porn addiction. He's the cause of me having all these issues. He could have been there to stop me from living that complacent lifestyle for years. Even back in 2017, when it was just me and him at the trailer. He could have been there plenty of times. He could have helped me out, man. Now, granted, he didn't know I had a porn addiction because back then I didn't even know it was an addiction. But still, man, he could have been there more for me. You know, I don't count occasionally going out with him as a means to, you know, doing anything about that. But he wasn't there when it count. He wasn't there as a father. That's why I don't want nothing to do with him. That's why I'll never talk to him again or never be around him. He could fucking die for all I care. Fuck that guy, man. You know? He didn't do the basics of what a father should do. He didn't teach me how to shave. He didn't teach me how to, you know, how do I approach the dating world? How do I drive a car? How do I shoot a gun? How do I do this? How do I do that? He never taught me those things. The other thing he never taught me was, hey, clean your house. This fucker would sit in the house all the time and not do shit. My mom had to work a job and she had to basically clean the house too. And when you're young, and one of your parents isn't doing that kind of stuff, that sends message to you. What, what message was sent to me? Oh, my dad isn't taking care of business. My dad isn't, you know, cleaning up the house. What message gets sent to me? Then, hey, that means it's okay for me to be that way. And, I, you know, eventually I was able to get out of that and start taking care of things. But, you know, that was a bad lesson he taught me. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but this was just like a venting type video. Um... Still dealing with the porn addiction, but yeah, life sucks, man. You know, I don't really have a lot of friends. I've never been in a relationship, you know. I've lived a complacent lifestyle for years. And just doing that for such a long time has fucked me up, you know. 
And I feel like it destroyed my humanity where, you know, now that I'm coming back outside more and trying to be more sociable and change my life for the better and get away from the porn addiction, all that shit, it's been weird because I've been so used to living that complacent lifestyle and with the internet, porn, and social media and all that, that it's like a, it, it, it destroyed my humanity, you know? Like, I, I had anxiety, I had depression, I had all these problems, you know, all these fucking problems, man. And it's like I got trapped into something for years and thank fuck... You know, last month, October, something awoke in me to get the hell out of that, to get away from it, essentially. And I'm glad that was the case. I just hope in the future, if you guys ever see me back on YouTube, that I'll be in a better position than I am now. I mean, I'm still free of the porn addiction so far, and I hope to beat it one day with, uh, with the ways I've been going about it, with my little techniques and stuff. But, yeah, man. I'm trying to make sure I get everything said I need to say in this video. But yeah, my dad was a piece of shit. I lived a complacent lifestyle for years. And that was basically my life. And it sucked. I was always depressed, lonely, you know, anxious. So many problems, mental health issues. My life sucked. It was a complacent lifestyle for years. It wasn't like some balanced shit where, oh, let me just do this and that and then I have friends. It was a shitty lifestyle. I don't want anything to do with it anymore, man. It's a shit lifestyle. It sucks. You know? So it's like, I may make good videos, and I may pre present myself as funny and stuff, but in reality, my life is in shambles. I mean, I'm still a porn addict, even though I've been clean for a bit. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have a lot of friends. I don't even have my own job. I'm 23 years old. I just have all these problems, you know? And I got trapped in that complacent lifestyle for so fucking long on top of being a porn addict, you know, and being exposed to internet and social media. And I feel like internet and social media in a lot of ways fucks the world up, you know, where you can still meet people and talk to people, but I just feel like in some ways the internet and social media has done a lot of damage to the world and it's fucked with the world in a lot of ways. Um, if you listen to that song by BOTDF called Anti-Social Media, they basically say that We've become a zombie nation, you know, anti-social media. It was meant, you know, social media was meant to be something positive, but it did a lot of harm in the world where let's stay inside our houses. Let's just stay connected to these devices. Let's not interact with people anymore. No more friendships, you know, and I feel like that social media shit, that internet shit, porn, I feel like that, it fucked my life up a lot and it did a lot to me. It destroyed my humanity. It held me back from ever getting a job. Remembering having a girlfriend or having a lot of friends or just living like a normal person. It held me back in a lot of those areas, you know? And this is me just being vulnerable and just being real. And this is all the shit I've been dealing with and all the shit I deal with, all the shit I'm still dealing with, you know? So that's basically it. Everything I wanted to vent in this video. Hopefully people can hear me. That's really all I gotta say in this video, man. Uh yeah. Um that's it, man. Uh, and, you know, music kind of, music has been kind of getting me through it. Like, when I was going outside constantly in November and October, you know, trying to respond to my triggers for porn addiction, you know, I would come back in around 7 or 8 p.m. and reward myself. Okay, I, I avoided my triggers. I went outside. I did what I had to do to avoid my addiction. There are certain songs I would listen to all the time that connected to me and I feel like related to me like The Monster by Eminem When I'm Gone by Eminem watching his addiction video watching Royce the Five Nines addiction video my favorite rap song has been No Matter What by T.I. that song I feel like gave me strength it gave me power I love No Matter What by T.I. that was my favorite rap song for a while and it still is just when I was going through the worst of it the withdrawal symptoms the cravings dealing with the porn addiction dealing with the realization of the fucking lifestyle that I've been living for all this while and seeing all this pain in front of me, you know, that song helps. Because it's like, shit, man, I'm going through all this shit. And T.I. went through a lot of shit. But he's still standing strong. You know, he lost his daughter and partner in the same year. The chorus, no matter what, helps so much, man. But, yeah, that's been my lifestyle since I was 13 or 14. Ever since I dropped out of school, all the way to now, in 2022, that's been my whole lifestyle. In the house every single day around the internet, around social media. Basically a loser. No friends, no girlfriend, no job, no nothing. No kind of any type of good lifestyle. And 
a lot of that falls on my father because he wasn't there you know he wasn't a good parent but I was trapped in a shitty lifestyle and I'm slowly trying to break out of it um, but it's been tough and it's been taking time but that's really all I have to say in this video peace